Why, why, why dead people why, kids? Why, why you gotta stoop that low though? Cause I'm trying to get him to crash out. He lied, he's stooping low and lied and said I put a tracker in his car. He lying on me. So he's stooping low, so why I can't stoop low? Yeah, I nah, just don't, I, 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 I'm just trying to get him to crash out. So I can, so, so him and Thug need to have a conversation in jail. He don't need to apologize to Thug out here on the blog. He need to go back in jail and let nothing your mom and daddy here, I'm sorry. He ain't apologized to his victims. He's still trying to play gangster tough. So let me send him back down there where he can be gangster tough. Cause your kids get talked about here. So if I can get him to crash out for what I say, checkmate. I'm trying to see if he's still gangster, if he'll still shoot that pistol. Because the FBI did have him listed as 10 of the most violent, dangerous people in Atlanta. You don't think the feds still want to get him? I believe there's two sides to every story. That's why I was excited when Say Cheese sat down with Charleston to talk about his beef with Lil Woody. And y'all have been in the comments section asking the reason why Charleston White has been going harder against Woody since he was released from prison. Remember there was a time when Lil Woody jumped on a podcast interview talking about Charleston White planting a tracking device inside his vehicle, trying to set him up to get arrested in Atlanta. It happens that Mr. Charleston watched the interview and got mad at Woody for accusing him of such behavior. Charleston made it known that he was heartbroken about that accusation and he thought Woody was still his friend. He also claimed that he tried reaching out to Lil Woody to ask him why he would think that he was the one who planted the tracking device inside his vehicle. But Lil Woody wasn't picking up his phones and was avoiding his calls all through the week cause he knows he lied on him. Charleston busted out in anger cause of the situation and decided to go harder on Woody and even went further to disrespect his daughter's health and his deceased mom. Let me get y'all the clip in a minute. Kindly smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out this clip. 74 hours of him giving testimony lying, 70 hours were lies. Four of it were retarded made up shit. I'm gonna see if he wanna crash out. I don't think he gangster no more. I don't think he got it in him no more. Woody don't, Woody don't crash out, man. Woody, crash out. F your retarded baby with the wooden leg with the kickstand on it. While you buying two AP watches, get that little girl some braces. Forrest Gump mama f get him in a school, remember? We all seen Forrest Gump mama before he got them braces put on his leg. Do something for that little girl leg so she ain't got to get picked on in middle school. <laughs> but, but Cause they go pick on her with that unstraight leg. But but let me, okay, so, so let's get this straight. But you're disabled too, right? Yeah, yeah, but I was born with two good eyes. His baby wasn't born with two good legs. God didn't curse me, nigga. That baby wasn't, I was born with all my limbs and fissures. I had everything at birth. That nigga baby ain't got everything at birth. One of her legs longer than the other and it's crooked. She got a bow leg and a straight leg. Oh man, that, come on, man. I don't come give on. a damn about being what, what, mean, nigga. Oh, you why, know what I mean. I said fuck a nigga dead baby before. I've talked about dead people why, kids. Why, why you gotta stoop that low though? Cause I'm trying to get him to crash out. He lied, he's stooping low and lied and said I put a tracker in his car. He lying on me. So he's stooping low, so why I can't stoop low? But the kid though, the that kid- baby, I don't give a f about that young b You know I make fun of kids. I told him I make fun of babies. I, my grandmama made fun of retarded babies. We got a nigga, ain't nobody in my family retarded. But nigga, we got some big head kids that started out with big heads as babies. Grandmama thought them were gonna be drunk babies. You been drinking with them, baby? Look at that, yeah, long hair mother. And I got a cousin <laughs> named Long Hair Mother. That's his name. That grandmama gave him at birth. Long hair, but come here, Long Hair Mother. I don't give a damn about no son. You know that. You step on my toe, I talk about your baby if it died today. That the, baby, nigga, the kid I'm a cruel, ask... rude, mean mother on camera. The, 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 the kid didn't Who ask to be here, Charleston. Who made the rule that you can't talk about a kids when we've been talking about kids all our life? Who made up sleep. the rule you can't talk about? That's gangster shit. I'm not no gangster. Gangsters made those rules leave women and children out of it. I don't follow a gangster rule. I put women and children in it. F your wife, f your baby, f your mama, f your grandbaby, and f your blind niece. Yeah, I make fun of everything. There ain't no rules in my world. <laughs> I follow laws. I don't follow rules. I follow kid, city ordinances and laws and court orders. The girl didn't ask to be here, though. I didn't give a she damn. Didn't, she didn't ask to be here. Uh, the Bible says you suffer from your father's sin. You don't think poor children whose fathers are absent, they children ain't suffering for what their father did and they don't even know their daddy? His, her daddy is a killer. Her daddy done killed people. Nigga, you think she ain't got to pay for what he done done in life? All children got to suffer from their parents' sins, my nigga. This nigga had a shootout with the baby in his home. He don't give a damn about that baby. So why should I? He left the baby out here. He knew she was mentally able and disabled when he went to go into jail on her. I ain't been in jail on my baby but the other day. Had me sad in the mother So yeah, I nah, just nigga, don't, I, 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 I'm just trying to get him to crash out. 
So I can so so him and Thug need to have a conversation in jail. He don't need to apologize to Thug out here on the blog. He need to go back in jail and let nothing their mom and daddy here. I'm sorry. He ain't apologized to his victims. He's still trying to play gangster tough. So let me send him back down there where he can be gangster tough. Cause your kids get talked about here. Online, people make fun of your mama. So if I can get him to crash out for what I say, check me. I'm trying to see if he's still gangster, if he'll still shoot that pistol. Because the FBI did have him listed as 10 of the most violent, dangerous people in Atlanta. You don't think the feds still want to get him? You don't think Atlanta prosecutor's office don't want to get their lick back for what he did on stage? So I'm going to help Kate, I'm gonna help to get him to crash out. I'm doing society a favor, putting Woody ass back in jail. Crash out, Woody. I don't think you'll do it. I think you're scared to go back to jail. <laughs> Dumb ass nigga. <laughs> you got a hundred thousand dollars, but you, you can't go get your baby legs straight now. One thing about mama, she went and got her baby a new eye. <laughs> mama went and got her baby a new eye. Wasn't leaving me out here, nigga, just with no hole. <laughs> mama went and got that whole feel. Is it true, um, is it true you asked Woody for 10000 while you were in jail? Uh, how I'm going to call Woody from 10000 How I'm going to call him from jail? And I've been talking about his dead mama. So you think I'm going to go? You think I'm going to miss Sean Cotton? I got Aiden Ross calling. I got Sean Cotton calling. I got Willie calling. Uh, I got Shannon Sharp calling. I mean, Shannon Bridge calling. Uh, nigga, I got Rollo and them calling. You think I'm going to call a nigga and I just got through talking about his dead mama? And call him he- for 10000 well, nigga, I got the money. I went and I, here it is. I'll just go right here. I went to jail with that in my pocket. I had a no bond. So how can I call him on a no bond? I had no bond. The judge violated my bond condition for smoking weed. So I don't have a bond. I understand the fact that Charleston White thought that Woody went too far for accusing him in that manner. But remember that Charleston White was already in a serious rant against Lil Woody before he made that accusation. And to my understanding, Woody never mentioned his family or none of that. So Charleston could have kept it between him and Woody. Instead of bringing his daughter and his deceased mom into the situation, that was a little too far, and if Lil Woody wasn't a cool person, he could have done same shit Charleston is doing right now. Because I know CW wouldn't feel good about that either. I watched a clip of him saying he was heartbroken when famous celebrities were celebrating when the news broke on the internet that one Charleston White was killed in Chicago. He said he never thought that people hated him so much to want to see him die or something that. But this is the same person who's always on the internet celebrating whenever he sees other celebrities and rappers dying. He literally disrespects the dead and thought other people won't do the same when he dies? That's why we want to be careful on whatever we're doing in life because things can actually go crazy if we keep up with those negative energy. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Additionally, always keep it locked in with Word on the Street channel for all of the latest news surrounding Lil Woody and Charleston White. Finally, stay with us for everything else going on in the world of music and pop culture.